let's not forget, you guys keep it alive. Thank you so much. All right, this song is a sing-along, so you're gonna have to help us. All right, I'm hoping. Come on, I wanna hear you up here. All right. Guys, there's food, riders, there's food back there, there's water, there's drinks, there's chips. Go back there, behind Applebee's, get something to eat, take a rest, take a load off. I know it's a, the road's pretty rough, so let's keep going. So if you go on Facebook, like us. Yeah, like us on Facebook. Yeah, That'd we're be cool. We're taking a little break. Our next show will be September to remember here in Linden, September 30th. It's gonna be a nice street event. And it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Alright, this song is called My Hero because there's so many of you guys out here today. You're our heroes. First responders, thank you for everything you do.
you guys know this song, sing along. and you want us to do one of your parties, just hit me up on Facebook. <laughs> We're pretty true. Uh, we, 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 we work for beer. <laughs> yes! They sound better the more beer you drink. Hey, you beer. <laughs> We're gonna try something new here. We haven't done this in a while, so let's give it a shot. This is a little bit newer song, like 2000 or 90s, I think. <laughs>
right, let's do some fun stuff. Let's do some fun stuff now. Let's let's have let's have a good time. Let's try to get you guys out here to dance. Come on. Peanut butter jelly time. See if you know this one.
My name is Carlos Rivas. I'm part of the city council here in the city of Linden. And to me, it's an honor to welcome you, all riders, to the annual 9-11 Foundation ride to New York City. Let's hear it from you guys. Let's hear it. You are the heroes. For the city of Linden, it's always an honor for you guys to stop in our city before reaching out your final destination, which is New York. I know that for all of you, this ride started a couple days ago on Thursday. Here we are Saturday, I'm still on our way to New York City. And for us, the citizens of Linden, we are honored to have you here. Welcome to your annual ride to New York City. Welcome to Linden. Linden is honored to have you. Again, let's give a round of applause to you. I know that you have been having fun because we have been listening to a great band, our own firefighter, firefighter Dan Stanley's band. Uh, Pikes Ball and Gasoline, let's give a round of applause for the band. Great songs, great songs. Well, let's start getting ready. I know that we have a, an agenda and we, need to, and we need to continue with the show. As, again, as I said before, it is an honor for the city of Linden to have you visiting us again this year in your ride to New York City. I would like to welcome you on behalf of the citizens of Linden, of the community, and everyone else there to keep the memories of our heroes of 9-11. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like at this time to invite our chief of the fire department of the city of Linden, Chief Hasco, to please uh, give us the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. This is what makes us American. Uh, I'd like to, uh, this time, in my agenda, I have a star, Matt plays a star spam banner. Never forget, we are the home of the Braves. Let's never forget that. At this time, I'd like to invite to the podium the mayor of the city, Mr. Derek Amsted. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Linden again. 9-11 affected all of us in many different ways. Here in Linden, we can see smoke from the two buildings and the ash fell on our streets here, our vehicles and our homes. Many of our residents worked in New York City and in the World Trade Center, and we're grateful that they made it home safe that day. Unfortunately, that day we lost one of our own here in Linden, Wanda Green. She was a flight attendant on United Flight 93 that went down in, in Storytown, Pennsylvania. Every September 11, we celebrate her memory, along with the many lives that were lost that day at a park that we have named after Wanda. Our first responders on that day were heroes. They're our heroes. In the worst of times, they didn't think about their lives, but the lives they could help save. And we are so grateful and proud of each and every one of them. 
Our fire department, for several months, spent hours at the Fresh Kills landfill, sifting through rubble, debris from the, uh, debris from the towers, hoping against all hope to be able to find something they could identify for those that didn't make it out so their loved ones could have closure. We're so proud of our first responders today and every day that we're, and we're honored to host this rest stop for the America's 911 ride. We wish them safe travels as they continue on their final leg to New York City and the World Trade Center. Please accept this proclamation that we have of the City of Linden for the wonderful work you've done in keeping all of us aware that we should never forget and for helping the children of our first responders with scholarships. I want to thank Applebee's, the FMBA, the Linden Fire Department, the Linden Police Department, Public Properties, Department of Public Works, our, video, our video, videographer, photographers, my confidential secretary, and most importantly, Sandy Jackson, who never fails to let us down. She's all, she always steps up to the plate for this, for this event. Let us not ever forget that tragic September 11th, a day when we, at the very least, Felt most, felt most vulnerable. Thank you all for coming out again, and, uh, and we'll never forget. We're not here in Linden. Thank you, Major. The proclamation. <laughs> that would help. It? it would help. I, I can't take it back home. <laughs> so, um, well, anyway, we'll read the proclamation. Whereas on Tuesday, September 11, 2001, an Islamic terrorist group by the name of Al-Qaeda carried out a series of, of four coordinated terrorist attacks. And whereas the attacks of September 11, 2001 changed our world forever, and the state of New Jersey was, was greatly impacted by the tragedies that occurred on that date. And whereas the heroes, and whereas the, hero, the heroics of the members of many fire, police, and other emergency agencies who acted courageously to protect, our, protect and serve should never be forgotten. And whereas in October 2001, America's 9-11 Foundation, Inc. was established to fund a college scholarship program for children of active first responders, EMS, fire, and police, who each day placed their lives on the line for all of us. And whereas the Foundation also assists emergency organizations with funds, materials, equipment, and, and volunteers when needed. And whereas the Foundation has sponsored the annual memorial ride in August to help raise funds in support of this worthy cause. And whereas on Saturday, August 19, 2023, the memorial ride will be stopping at Aviation Plaza in Linden, New Jersey for its 23rd ride. And whereas the mayor wishes to commend the foundation for their worthy efforts and, and encourage support for the mission of this foundation for the past 23 years. And now, therefore, it be resolved that I, Derek Armstead, mayor of the city of Linden, State of New Jersey, who hereby declare this third Saturday of August 19th, 2023, recognize the America's 911 Foundation for their selfless involvement and support of our first responders and their families, and for contributing generously to the same, and that we commend their, the participants of the 911 ride and America's 911 Foundation for honoring those who have served us all so well and reminding us that we will never forget. And it's signed by myself, Derek Armstead, Mayor. As the mayor said, we will never forget. Perhaps, as we started the event, we skip the fact that those are the heroes that we're making a memory for. So I'd like to invite you all for a moment of silence for those heroes. Because as we said before, we will never forget. Thank you, thank you, Lyndon. Thank you to the members of the 9-11 Foundation. But I, I will be remiss today if I don't make echo of the greatness of that, what this foundation has done throughout the years. But I will stay here all day trying to let you know what they do and what they have done. But instead, I'm going to ask the members to come in and, and share it with you yourself. Please welcome the members of the American 9-11 Foundation. Hello, everybody. 
Are y'all glad to be here? Man, you guys are definitely not morning people. This morning I was hearing crickets, so I'm glad every each and every one of you have made it here with us from the Pentagon. Almost everybody has made it from Somerset. One gentleman had to go home last night, but he was planning on doing that anyway. But I want to give a big round of applause to our support team, our EMS team, and all of our police officers that have kept us safe on this ride. Again, we can only do what you guys help us do. And with that, I just want to let you all know some information. That 41 people have raised over $70,000 in college scholarship money. Seventeen of those individuals are from the Red Knights of New York. And I'd like to thank out Chris Workman. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself there. But yeah, Kevin Keller, where's Kevin Keller? Kevin. Come forward, Kevin. Come here, big guy. Give this man a big round of applause. He's just one of the 17 that raised money, but we want to thank him and his team for raising, what was it? Yeah, over $36,000 between the 17 of them. And it's like individuals like Kevin and all the others, 24 that raised money, the 17 other Red Knights, and each and every one of y'all them participating. If you've had a good time, you believe in our cause, you want to support your first responders, then help us out. Tell all your friends about the ride and participate in it. We're also doing other events, so check out our webpage, americas911foundation.org. We got a golf tournament in October. We've got horse derby races in September. We got a car show in October in PA. So check us out. We do more than a motorcycle ride. So uh, we can get more people involved because the more people we get involved in the care, the more money we can give away. Because none of us up here, not one, makes a penny out of what you guys give us or raise for us. It all goes back to help first responders. Thank you all very much. Now, all the police officers, come on up. It's your turn. Got Allison Toth here that's got the tickets. We need University of Pittsburgh, right? There we go, right there. They're going to pull the winning police office, the police department. Parma PD. Chief. Aren't you glad you came now? Parma Cleveland or Parma Ohio? Ohio. They brought five motors, their chief, and, and somebody else, there were seven of them total, came from Parma, Ohio, to come on this ride. So chief, come on down. I believe you promised me 15 motors next year? <laughs> 12, okay, 12. We'll take 12. Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, please give these guys a round of applause. They have worked their tails off as long as with...
We have over 85 officers from over 35 jurisdictions of the United States represented with us today. Also, is the U.S. Bus, uh, bus Border Patrol officers here? Come on, Kara. Come on up here with Julie. Come on, guys. For your information, the United States Border Patrol only has four motor officers. They're all stationed in Buffalo, New York, and two of them are on the ride with you today. With their support leader, Kara and Julie, the mascot. Want to give a shout out to the Pumper team for getting all of y'all fueled and staged. To the road captains that kept us going and communicated with us and the support team about breakdowns. And again, to all of y'all, and I hope to see twice as many of y'all here next year on the 23rd annual, the 24th ride of America's 9-11 ride. We're good. Thank you, sir. God bless you. This is what makes us special. This is what makes us Linden. Welcoming all of you in your annual ride to New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, let's remember, they're not with us no more, but they are with us in spirit, and we will always remember them. We will never forget. On behalf of the city of Linden, thank you for gathering with us today. Thank you for welcoming the riders. And until next year, have a wonderful rest of the afternoon. And I think I will leave you with the band. Is the band going to play us? I think the band is going to play us some more. So thank you again. Have a good afternoon and God bless you all. Thank you.